Now I want to determine what is the mean temperature. And the mean temperature is going to be the average of my temperatures. And there are a number of ways that I could accomplish this, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of my positive temperatures, find the sum of those, and add to that all of my negative temperatures. So I have a positive temperature of 5, 7, 0, that's really neither positive or negative, so I can just leave that alone, 15, 8, and 3. They're already here, too. So I need to find the sum of 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 8 plus 15. So I have 3 plus 5 is 8 plus 7 is 15 plus another 15 is 30 plus 8 is 38. Now I'm going to take all of my negative temperatures, and I'm going to add those to my positive sums. So I have negative 10 plus negative 9 plus, oops, plus a negative 3. So a negative 10 plus a negative 9 is negative 19, plus a negative 3 is negative 22. So the total of my temperatures above or below zero is going to be the sum of 38 plus a negative 22. 38 plus a negative 22. I can also write that as 38 minus 22. So 38 minus 22 is 16. So that's the total amount of temperature change above zero. In order to figure out the mean temperature, I need to take the total temperature, and then I'm going to divide it by the number of days that I recorded my temperature. And I recorded it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so 16 divided by 9, uh, let's see, 9 goes into 16, the first time 9 goes into 16 one whole time, 1 times 9 is 9, 16 minus 9 is 7, I know I can rewrite my number that way by adding a decimal point and a zero. Bring down my zero. Nine goes into 70. Well, nine times seven is 63. Nine times eight is 72, so I know it's not nine times eight. So it's nine times seven is 63. Bring down another zero. I think I can see a pattern. That is gonna repeat itself. So my mean temperature becomes a little bit less than two degrees on average.